Hello, welcome to Moon Gaming, gaming on the moon. Good news, well, I've been authorized to release these transmissions, so now you too can experience Moon Gaming. Joining us today is someone, please. Hi. Hello, welcome to Moon Gaming. Hi, I, I'm Tom from Weird Video Games. Uh, how are you? Isolated. So, uh, by the way, are you on a moon or the moon? I'm not sure, actually. They don't tell me much. So, Tom, today we've been assigned Cyril Cyberpunk. This is a platformer. Have you heard of that one? Uh, yeah, I actually played it a while back in the 90s. I got one of those 100 game CDs with a bunch of shareware things, but it called it Cyberboard Kid. And there's like a picture of a bear, yeah. but it's like, it's a kid with a skateboard or... No, it's a hoverboard. I remember that. That's, that makes all the difference. A cyberboard. I don't, I don't know why that didn't continue. Uh, let's play it! <laughs> Reality Studios. Oh, um, this is going to be a real, a very realistic game, I imagine. Cyber real. Manhattan. 2224. Cyril Smith is scanning the airwaves with his intergalactic scanner. Makes sense. Uh, suddenly, with three exclamation marks. Whoa, we're skipping through this really fast. I'm not touching anything. I like how all he hears is the word invasion and immediately jumps to the conclusion that aliens are coming to conquer us. <laughs> well, that's how it is when you're a kid. <laughs> oh, okay, well, there's our intro. But he's actually right. <laughs> uh, what difficulty, what difficulty do we want? Uh, what's a... It's kind of hard, isn't it? So maybe we should do barely a hero, or what do you think? Do you think okay, you can we'll do barely a hero. Fun? Oh, the alien scout ship to Central Park. I've got to. How do you? I've got to do something the, about this. How do you trace the spaceship? All I heard was one word on a radio. Seems like if a spaceship landed in Central Park, Cyril wouldn't be the only one who traced it there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. I know I'm bragging on this a lot, but I mean, you know, all those people who heard uh, War of the Worlds on uh, the radio and thought the world was actually being invaded. At least they actually heard, like, a, a bunch of stuff going on that made them think there's an invasion, not just one word. Well, Cyril's first on the scene. Yeah, I like that thing. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, get move! <laughs> yeah, I, I like this thing, too. I it, mean, it looks it's, like those fry guys from McDonald's. I really have to question if this is an enemy. I mean, it feels... This thing looks like it could be domesticated if it... <laughs> it's a triple. Oh, it has a human skeletal system. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Okay, teddy bear with tank treads for feet. And a, a cannon coming out of its... Yeah, yeah, bears... <laughs> yeah, we sort of skipped over that, but bears seem to be a real central part of this game. I'm not... The game doesn't really explain why, does it? I don't know. I guess we'll it's to... just the, the aliens that are conquering the world are bears. Um, mech, mech bears and furry things. Advanced alien Oh, 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 here's one, here's one. Okay, that, that's, this is sort of like an elephant. Yeah, look, yeah, look at that. You can see the inner torso there. That looks, I think these are just robots. Looks more like an elephant or a it does. or something than a teddy bear. Yeah, an elephant with like a 50 caliber on the front of its snout. Ah! Oh, oh, that is a douche move there. Drops you right in between two guys. Well, good thing this is the first level playing on mostly easy. So... Yeah. So, how does uh, Serial Cyberpunk have a teleporter? Or is he just, like, did he hack, like, the teddy bear's uh, teleporter so he could use it? Well, I guess it's the year 2224, so he could have a teleporter. Yeah, that, that's a good point. Like, what... Okay, you know, Manhattan looked pretty prosperous than for 2224, so that makes me think we must have had, like, some collapse 
in between now and when this game takes place because I, I just don't see us on like a straight like linear path to progress like that. Whoa. Oh, boss. Okay, in the future they still drive forklifts inside of a He just seems sort of angry. He's not really he doesn't seem to really care, like he's just <laughs> Yeah, they set it up like it's a boss battle, but it's basically just a guy doing his job and you come in there and blow him up. <laughs> so, he he didn't give you the key when you beat him? Like No, they don't I don't get the key. I get to backtrack and try and find the key. This is uh, You know, I do not miss this at all from old games where okay, find the red key, now find the yellow key, now find the blue key. I mean, it's and the arrows don't really help because sometimes <laughs> that is that's terrible. where you need to go, but other times, like, you need to get the key, then go there. Yeah, I don't know. This is this might be why I only played a level of this before. You, you can play the next level, Tom. Okay, this is a good sign, I hope, because I can't jump out of here without using the hover board. So if this is a yeah. not crap game, this is the way I have to go. Ah, yes! Aha! Okay, yeah. your turn, oh, Tom. Now, outer cargo hold. Alright. Yeah, are you psyched? I'm psyched. Okay, so Tom and I ran into a problem. Uh, I was gonna send him my saved game, but if you... this Apparently it's impossible to load games. Here, go ahead and save your game, Tom. Okay, save game. Um, Name it anything. Okay. Oh, I think you should load your game, Tom. Yeah, it has been a couple seconds. Oh. Hmm, not fast enough. Yeah. But it looks like there is a warp code for this game, which I think it's okay if we use that. I don't think they'll have a problem with that. Okay, level two, the outer cargo hold. Yeah, it's like the cargo hold, except how do how many levels of this cargo hold do they have? It's just like shipping teddy bears, right? I do not know. <laughs> well, I mean, you, you went straight from inner to outer, so... I, I, I mean, I guess there could be exterior. Yeah, why do you start a... in the inner? Because I came from outside. Yeah, yeah, I was just thinking that, too. Because, like, in like Metroid and everything, the inner is always, like, the deeper, like, tougher part, right? <laughs> Wow. Okay, I guess I'm not going there. What? Oh, if you look in the instructions, uh, you find out that Cyril is not wearing a visor. He's wearing two-way virtual reality. I don't know Wait, what, what that means. What? He's like wearing in, in VR the, goggles while actually yes, fighting two-way virtual reality. So does that? I don't know if that means that, like, this is virtual and augmented reality, so he can see the outside and project whatever he wants, or does this mean he sees virtual things, but he projects that onto the world also? So, Th I don't that's know. That's really confusing. So, may maybe he sees bears. Because, so, you know, he likes teddy bears or something. Yeah, so maybe, yeah, maybe the whole bears thing is just what he's imprinting on his eyes with virtual, rea with augmented reality, like... M maybe he doesn't really want to handle what the reality is. Like, he's fighting horrible alien monsters, and I guess, uh, to help him cope with it, he changes their appearance for, you know, within his own eyes to that of teddy bears, so it's... This is kind of fascinating to me now, actually. Like, I hope that's the actual explanation, because that makes this uh, a lot cooler now. <sighs> Why can I not shoot up? Or, or diagonally? That th Those would both be great options. Ah! 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 So I'm actually going inside a turbine, is that what's going on? <laughs> Man, look, look at this! They're, they're laying it on pretty thick for ah! second easiest second level mode. Okay. And that's there's not even a boss, them. because there's that's like the third one now. Fourth. Ah! ah! Holy crap! I guess it's not that hard, but it's really frantic. What? Oh, there's another one! Oh. I got a basket. What does baskets do? I think it gives you full health. You're eating sandwiches for health. Oh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So, yeah, they got a whole Tay Bear picnic thing going on here. Oh, you're right. 
I wonder if they're gonna work in Goldilocks somehow, so later there'll be a level <laughs> with like a small bear, mama bear, papa bear. <laughs> Cyril is blonde. He could be the uh, Goldilocks oh, of this game. Wow. Hey, I think we just unlocked some more of the symbolism here. This is virtual reality. Uh, Goldilocks what was the fish. moral of? Goldilocks and the Three Bears aside from just I, I don't, don't no, just he, don't make he, yourself at home in strangers' homes, which, you know, that's yeah, I guess that's a good lesson, but I don't know if that's something we really needed a story on. I mean, I'm warning you about the dangers of breaking and entering. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. And, and bears. Uh, yeah, like you know, a lot of these fairy tales have been uh, changed over time and. For the most part, they've been kind of censored because, oh, yeah. like, the original versions were like really dark. It's so even kinda, better than that. I, I, I read an article not long ago. Oh, good, you made it. Lower, lower engine. engine. <laughs> okay, how much do we want to bet the next level is going to be upper engine room? But yeah, I read recently that the grim fairy tales, though yeah. they actually kind of did some editing themselves and like like a, a year or two afterwards this anthropologist went and to like a lot of the same locations they did to get the real stories and like he just wrote them down like he didn't he wasn't trying to publish anything or make it more sensational just as they were and apparently they were even like dirtier and bloodier than what Grimm had like there was one I remembered where uh, there was one about Hans the Stupid, who could make women pregnant by looking at them. <laughs> I'm not making this up, you can look it up, guys. <laughs> Hans the Stupid. Oh man, that is amazing. Ah, oh, did you see that? They're bouncing me back and forth like a volleyball. <laughs> Is that the... I feel like they can come up with Yes, volleyball is the game where you bounce it back and forth. Ah! This... this game is... what the... Oh, frick? there's a new one. It, it's, it's one of those vac... those robot vacuum cleaners. Oh, man. This game does not give you room to dodge these things. Roomba! Ah! Yeah, it doesn't give you enough Roomba to dodge these things. Well, that looks neat. Yeah, I don't know if it probably kills me. I, I can't imagine why it would do anything else. Oh, I knew uh, it! I knew it! You called it! Th this what, game... What, what oh, wow, thing? what is that? I, hold on. It's like an atomic teddy jelly baby. It looks evil, like... Just straight up. Is it gonna explode? It's got the atomic symbol on it. Okay, that was a yeah. Magic there you go. Hectic. I thought. Oh, yeah, maybe. It, it looked a lot more sinister than it was. Like yeah, like, like I it's, was starting to strategize like it's combining a black bit. magic with nuclear power. <laughs> oh, living quarters. Oh, okay. You want to uh, have a crack at this one? No, but I, I will if you need a breather. Okay. So I, I'm really happy to have you here on Moon Gaming, Tom. So take the brunt of your punishment or assignment. What we... Punishment implies there's Some, something you... you you did something <laughs> yeah. bad and, and and like this is a temporary state. To... I, I don't know what I did to get here, Tom. Ring. This doesn't really look like a living quarters. This looks more like a platforming cafeteria. Looks like a Lego village or something. Yeah. Okay, so, do you see these things? What's the deal with that? Like, it's just in the background. It doesn't interfere with me at all, but I can shoot it, and it disappears. Ah! I'm not trying to go there! Shut up, teddy bear. No! Ah! This is really angry. I'm trying to go back... Never mind. I'm glad to have you here, Tom. Okay, so, so here, go in that, go in those arrows, and click up or something. What? what? Okay. 
Oh, it's one of these oh. where you. Okay. It's one of these where they have like 50 teleports, so you have to go. I didn't even mean to go back into that one. I just. I didn't make the connection that. Like, I thought it was gonna drop me right on top of the guy, but then I find out it's a floor. And then I went, I went back to try to illustrate this, and it took me through the warp. And, what? Yeah, no, don't, don't. I just ducked, and when I this, got this up, this game's not going to show again. you a lot of mercy. It's okay. Look at this. Look at this. See, there's a oh, guy over there, again. and he's shooting at me, so I'm ducking. Well, I let go of duck. You teleport. Oh. What? Oh, oh wow! Yeah, right there. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Okay, so maybe we are gonna see baby bear, mama bear, and papa bear. You, okay. you just blew oh, away. Oh, hold on. Yeah, that happened so fast I couldn't process it. I think I just killed a baby in a high chair. Now I have no idea where I'm going. You know, some games are like hard, but they're cool and fun. Like yeah, this doesn't have that. Okay, and I'm a little bit lost. Um. No, I think I just have to backtrack like crazy to get to uh, a much earlier red door. Okay, this teleport is not a teleport, it's just nothing. Thank you. Is, is that hay inside the po inside the doors there? What, hay? I yeah, it was... and it's, it's inside those things that look like washing machines. I, I think it looks like honey. I think they're like harvesting humans and making them produce honey for their... It's, it's B logic. Okay, there's a new gun here. So, wait. Now the warp isn't working? You can do it, Tom. So this, this like, no, look, this warped me to a secret area with a new gun, but there was a guy there to kill me. And in trying to dodge him, I accidentally went back into the warp, and now I can't go back. I, I, ju I just assume not being able to go back is a positive thing because it closes doors you can backtrack no, on. There was a new gun there. No. I was gonna get a new gun. I, there's more. There's more levels ahead, it got me Tom. All excited. It's okay. There's more levels. I'm sure the gun will come back. The, this game got me to be excited about something, and then immediately took it away. Holy crap! Did I get him? There's no. No, yeah, he's still. There. Man. Oh After wow! A long space okay. Space journey. The scout ship arrives at the docking station orbiting planet Fluffball. Okay, space now station. I think we're finally at a cool environment. Yeah, look, this is way better. Look at that. Let me take over. Uh, sure. This is an odd space station. With upside down mushrooms, it's a, it's a little on the odd side. I've seen weirder. Yeah, well, <laughs> I mean, why make this the space station? Why isn't this the planet? There's still not really much impressing me here. I kind of got excited when I saw the change of scenery, but the level design is still very much the same. There's not like uh, they're not doing a whole lot with this setting. Like, it, the original Super Mario Brothers, 1985, like, uh, where it introduced those giant mushrooms. That was, <laughs> that was an interesting departure from what it was before, and it was oh, man, I, well done. That was, like, years before this. Speaking of which, I'm late to the party on this, I know, but I recently saw a sprite of Toad, you know, from Super Mario Brothers. Yeah. And, like, I think this is from the original game, and I... Seeing the frame by itself, the, the, just the raw sprite frame, you have to wonder. It looks like he's just like flipping Mario off, like completely. I mean, it looks like this, and he has like this flat expression on his face. That's not how it actually was in the game, is it? It was just like a sprite that was inside the game that was never used. No, I think no, I think that is in game. I think he was just sort of waving his arms in the game, but like taking that context, like I almost wonder. If this is like an obscene work of genius, just sort of <laughs> slip it because it's interpretive because it's pixel art. You know, it's too low resolution yeah. to tell exactly what's happening. Yeah, yeah, there, there it is. Okay, look at that. We, we have oh, a. Oh wow. Yeah, this is getting that... darker here. I, I mean, is that a corpse or is that like an? Ex... 
experiment bear in progress or what? I don't know. I, I just get this this foreboding sense like it's some sort of um, barely conscious being of like oh, God. pure hate. Just like in a tube seething, waiting to be released. Hatred powers the society. So we're still not sure if these are all... Yeah. Oh man, I'm going in circles, I can tell. Oh, those... What? Okay, that was a teleport. It just takes you back there? What? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna try this one more. That is so mean. Like, there's no purpose to that other than to just annoy you. I, I feel like this is sort of like an alternate universe where Teddy Ruxpin is taking place. <laughs> Something happened, like, like you know, because Teddy, for, for those that don't know, T Teddy Ruxpin was a, a hero bear cartoon around this time. You know, Saturday morning cartoon. Or some of it, but like, he was the good guy and this suggests that, you know... You know, what you're making me think of is, like, you know, the Teddy Ruxpin toys that you could put the tape in. So it's already kind of like a cyborg teddy bear, and it becomes self-aware, and becomes aware of how all the little kids are mistreating their Teddy Ruxpin toys, and... Just... Yeah, or maybe they just decided, like, this is more of like a Skynet thing where... The they... Teddy bears just... rose up against their masters <laughs> now that they achieve consciousness. Although these are invaders coming from Planet Fluffball, it seems like there wouldn't be enough time to have, like, have a society on another planet if it originated from Earth. But this is... 2224. So that, that might have been enough time if yeah. the bears had seceded around our time, had faster than light travel and found Planet Fluffball to inhabit, and then they're coming back for their revenge. So kind of like a... Battlestar Galactica thing. I mean, maybe. I, I mean, they could just... And they have a plan. I guess, but they mostly seem like robots, so maybe this is just like... Maybe they just died off, and this is just an autopilot thing going on with the AI. I, I don't know. Okay, I've, I've lost Tom. This feels lonely. Okay, there's a jump I have to do here. And Tom is back. So Hi. We had that, some, that helps. Some but like, have you ever movies. seen that movie Old Boy where they're concerned about keeping him locked in a room for like 20 years or whatever, that he's gonna go insane. So they give him this combination of like hallucinogens and special drug treatments to prevent him from going insane because he's just in a room. Well, well that, that's kind of, you're a little bit like that with this game, Tom. Oh, okay. Ah. Oh, wow, that is so mean. Yeah, yeah, it's like if you save yourself by landing on the platform, no, that's it. You, you're, you've already lost. You have to do it over again. It, it gives the false hope of recovery. Like, oh, I only fell this way. That is the name of the game, False Hope. <laughs> oh, is this going to kill me instantly? N no, but it blocked. Oh. How far back is that? It's all, it's all the way. <sighs> oh, why? Okay, God, what do I do? God, that takes a lot of health! Watch out. Oh, here oh, we go. Oh, no. Here we go. Okay, well, it's okay. I have my continue. Yeah. Right. But I have one life. Um, I'm starting to get nervous. <laughs> I wonder if I have a picture of, like, just that on, like, a t-shirt. Like, you know, it's a good conversation. Oh, extra life! What what happened? Oh, it's a, oh wow! They wow. teleport you away from the extra life. I I, I geez, is it worth going back? Okay, it's not that far. I'll try and grab it. If Wait. it'll actually let you get it now, or if yeah, it's if, like, if it'll let you, yeah, it, it would not surprise. This is the sort of game it would slam some like steel doors behind where you just were, just to like make sure you can't get back to it. Yep, yep, it's uh, right there. there. Okay, I have boost, so I gotta kill this thing. And just boost my what? It's a what? Okay. Okay, good. Also, I've noticed this. Um, his shirt looks like it says CG, not CC. You know, I, I remember when I was a kid. I know I saw this somewhere. It might have been like in school or just I don't know where, but like they showed these kids on a playground. And 
Like there, there was like this kid named Carl or something, and he's wearing a T-shirt that says Carl, and like all these kids like on the playground are like, "Hey, Carl, what's going on, Carl? Like, hey, I saw your mom, Carl," and, and like the Carl who's like pretty young, like I think he looks sort of like Cyril, just younger and with glasses, was just he's obviously getting kind of distraught by this, you know, because all these kids are calling by name. And then, like, the message was, don't wear shirts with your name on them. <laughs> Hi, Dave. Remember me? We played some basketball together. I'll lend you some cash. Don't play dumb, Dave. I don't believe you're acting like you don't remember. You have my dollar. Hey, Dave. I just saw your mother and she said to meet her at work. I'm supposed to go straight home. Dave, that's what she told me. Hi, Dave. What are you doing here? Do I know you? How do you know my name? David. Don't wear clothes with your name on them. 